Um, what are the greatest highlights and the most humbling challenges in your life? Every day is my challenge. Every day is a challenge. Yeah, self reflections. Yeah. And gratitude to people. Yeah. Every day is that is my day to day activities. Yeah. And I very much appreciate your work. I very much appreciate their work. Yeah. I very much appreciate the, my wife's the dedication. <laughs> so full of the gratitude. Full of gratitude. Yeah. In recent times, how have you, how have your views on world peace changed? No vision change. World peace, unless the majority of people change into macrobiotics, their world peace never comes. Because humanity must change, yeah. and biologically, all cells, brain activities, and also the, their characters must change. And yeah, the human, humanity itself, from Homo sapiens, must change to Homo pacifica, that is more peaceful humanity, and furthermore develop Homo spiritus, spiritual humanity. And therefore, I am not thinking macrobiotics can change the we can make the world peace in 10 years, in 100 years. My span of time factor is 2,000 years. 2,000 years. It takes 2,000 years, or maybe longer. So uh, what, what is your idea, idea of uh, bliss? Day to day, you are bliss. <laughs> you are bliss. breathing and meditating, thinking. Yeah. That is day to day. Moment to moment is full of bliss. So what is the purpose of human life? You see, human life is like this. Yeah. We came from infinite universe, yeah. right? That I, I explained the spirals, okay? Right? And then we were born on the planet, on this small, tiny planet, yeah. the first in the water, yeah. okay? In the mother's water. Okay. and also the ocean, the biological evolution. Okay. Then, that time we prepare to go further up, that is air world, ocean, water, soil, water, and air, air world, right? And we are now air world, therefore we are breathing, and we are preparing to go further more up, that is world of vibration. That means world of consciousness. Okay? And so we prepare for that. Therefore, we are day to day experience. Through day to day experience, we develop our mind, so our consciousness. become more mature. No. Mature means consciousness growing. Growing consciousness. Right. Even you have the. You become in prison, yeah. your consciousness grows. Even you fail business, your consciousness grows. Right. Whatever you do, aim of human being is going, preparing to the next life. So that the next is the world of consciousness. Yeah. Then in that world, so-called spiritual world, we prepare furthermore, return to the infinite universe. Yeah. So because we came from infinity, so you believe, we you believe in reincarnation. That is universal reincarnation. Of course, yeah. everything is reincarnation. Yeah. Um, many of our readers, um, the Macrobiotic Guide, knew Adeline and uh, Lily. Uh, and were you surprised and saddened by their passing away? No, not all, not. The, in the sense of deep sadness right, that you are people, because the, I can see they are also in speech world, okay. that means they are conscious, yeah. okay? Day by day, they encourage me, day by day, by day uh, they, they encourage many people. Yeah. Uh, are there any words that you would like to wish to convey to our readers about, about other life? Oh, the, her dream is, I think, the main people sharing also. Yeah. And like George Osa's dream, Dima Osa's dream, and many 
senior Macros people who passed away, their dream, I think many Macros people are sharing. And so the, they, they continue that same dream, sharing dream. Then that is the best for them, for those passed away people. At the same time, their dream will be realized. So we live through, live us, through alive people. Uh, what would you say to young people? So we have a lot of young people uh, coming to the guide. They're starting macrobiotic. They're very excited. What, what message would you give to them? Number one, they should be very humble. Number two, they should be great to universe, to parents, to the ancestors, to everything to crowns, to nature, sorry, to society. And number three, never criticize others. Never criticize. never criticize others. Because whole universe has brought up all phenomena. Right? There is no good and bad. Never criticize others. And always to be grateful to everything. And then, Learn cooking. Learn cooking. <laughs> even boy, yeah. even man should be able to cook. Otherwise, we cannot encourage people, can't maintain our health. Um, I congratulate you on your marriage. Uh, how? I congratulate, congratulate. both of <laughs> you. Um, how and where did you meet? Uh, <laughs> seven years ago. In my big lectures in Japan, the her teacher who was the who, who, who was also the senior student of Jojo Osawa and Dima Osawa introduced to her. And at that time of course I was be she was also working at some big company and we are not so much the intimate at all. But it took time, maybe about after that four years or so. Then she came to America and also she took care of my health support. And since then it became more and more closer and intimate and trust each other. And then married. Is that correct? Anything you like to add? Anything? So you, you, you're both very happy? I think so, pretty happy. <laughs> <laughs> and also, um, how, how is your health now? Good. We heard that you had the operation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You know that she's taking she's, care of me. She's taking yeah. care of your health. And everyone is taking care of me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mentally, correct? Spiritually. Yeah. Uh, Many of the readers were concerned and heard about your cancer. Please, could you, um, was it related to the food you ate? Or was it just of course, yes. of course. Because perhaps you should understand, and many macro people understand. My life yeah. was traveling, traveling, lecturing, lecturing. Right? In European countries, every country I visited 20, 30 times. So, Asian country and the uh, Australia and South the America and even Africa. Okay? And then how can I eat macrobiotics? Right. And for here I'm here. Midori wants to eat brown rice miso soup. But we can't cook here. Right? And same thing if we you travel how do you do? And in Japan, for example, like my birthday party, 300, 400, 500 people gather, and we do hotel some macrobiotic meals. And they eat macrobiotics. Meanwhile, in front of me, macrobiotic meals come, wonderful, delicious meal. When I start to eat, one by one coming to with business card. I am this person, right? Uh, I, I, I bought this book and uh, please sign it. How can I eat? Then after 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock night, I go to my home hotel. 
then I have to think what shall I maybe pancake, maybe this, maybe that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. And of course I never eat for past fifty years, longer than fifty years, like meat or like uh, the chicken and uh, the, the medicine. Yeah. But anyway, the can't practice well. Yeah. Right? That kind of life is making the troubles. But very fortunately, that is some tumor. And on the, the transverse cord, so just operate it out, then finish. So now everything, you're feeling much better? Oh yes, much better. And she took care in the hospital and at home. Yes, she was with you all the yeah. way through. And cooking for me. Yeah. Um, Except here. Because a, a lot of uh, online forums with the teachers, they uh, sometimes they get very critical of each other. That, don't forget about it. That is not macrobiotic. It's not macrobiotic. Not, they are non-macrobiotic people. Yeah. Okay? Macrobiotic people is always humble, always listening, always self repair And if they criticize others without really understanding, that is out. He is, he may call, I am macrobiotic, but he is not. Tell us that. What, what is the real macrobiotic? They are macrobiotic people. I told humbleness, humbleness. appreciation, yeah. gratitude all the time. And all the time, the sun to everything. So it's not just about not eating sugar or dairy or animal food. No, no. <laughs> that is only small applications, okay? Small applications. Yeah. The, you know, Jesus was macrobiotic. Yes. What? He, he How about the Buddha? Yes. Was macrobiotic. Yes. What? And. Before Jesus, Buddha, and Tao Tzu, yeah. millions of years mankind was living. Many of them also macrobiotic, without knowing the world of macrobiotic, yeah. and many, of, many others not. Yeah. Right? How about after this world passed away, yeah. millions of years more mankind live, continue to live, yeah. eating, eliminating, thinking, right, etc. Okay? And then, what is humanity? Macrobiotic people think, some people, or I don't say everyone, okay? Some people, very wonderful, <laughs> like the Chico and other yeah. people, okay? But some macrobiotic people seems like that. I know everything, yeah. right? And criticize others. Yeah. That is, they are not macrobiotic. No. Even though they may be eating brown rice, yes. but they are not macrobiotic. So it's not just about following the rules. That is religion. That's religion. Religion. Yeah. Macrobiotics is not religion. Yeah. Macrobiotics is for everyone, yeah. giving the possibilities, right? Giving the hope. Why do why do people make macrobiotic into religion? Because they were fanatic. They were fanatic. Because they were eating it one sided. One sided. Also, we, we have a lot of people coming uh, to our guide from India, Africa, poorer countries, and they, they say they, they can't afford miso, they can't afford seaweed. What, what, what would you say to people in poorer Let countries? Let them make. So for that, you study, so for example, how to make fermentation and the ter ter them the how to how to make, right? And then, then they can start to make. So they, and they learn from traditional culture. Yeah. And their own tradition is there. Yeah. We must respect that. And besides that, how we make more improve that, right? And we must learn from their tradition. Suppose if we do something in Germany, then we must respect the Germany's tradition. And then out of that, how to make that more better way for everyone, all right? Same in India, China, or any place has a wonderful tradition. So whether we should recommend so or so, 
brown rice miso soup is good or not, yeah. we must really think, yeah. right? Yeah. And you know that I went to Africa. You went to Africa. Yeah, and to help the AIDS people. Yeah. And I, I went also to BAE, right? And I met many AIDS people, right? And at that time, how make them better, right? Without brown rice miso soup, <laughs> okay? Because that is important thing. Yes. And okay. yeah. all food, all food to be the the any any branch to be able to be healthy. Yes. That is a macrobiotic way, right? Is looking at the, the nature. Exactly. Yeah. You know, mankind has been living for millions of years. Okay. So some people they think microbiota is just the Japanese uh, no. tradition. No. You see, suppose Russia, very cold. Yeah. They are maybe eating cheese. Yeah. Right? Maybe eating some hasha. Yeah. Right? That may be the microbiota. Right? Because they may be adapting that way, keeping their health. Yeah. Right? Same thing in India, yeah. same thing in Africa. Various climatic conditions, humidity conditions, have traditional way of eating. Right? And point is, microbiot some macro people think so narrow, so conceptual. Tell them so, what is my son. We came from infinity, right? And we are changing ourselves all right. And we when we die after die, we return also infinity. Right? And we are living in the within the infinity universe. Our status is infinite. As it is. Okay? Our status is infinite. Those some people don't know yet who are they. If infinite, then infinite love we should have that automatically. Right? So what would you say And to, never criticize others. What would you say to gov governments around the world to, to help they they want to help their, their people? You know, in, the, in this world where there's a lot of global warming and there's a lot of disasters and uh, yeah, government efforts, many government efforts there, but government also, power politics also goes, okay, many government, and however, don't criticize that, okay, again, that is a process, process that everyone gets better and everyone going towards the new world, and my dream is, of course, world federation. Each country, each territory independent, self-governing, but internationally, right? common problem should be world federation, world federation, world federal government. The, that will come, because many people like Einstein and Oppenheimer, Gandhi, Nair, and so many people, George Osara, etc. Norman Cousins, etc. All right, they, they wanted to happen. From young students, I was like water feathers. So, what is it that in you that drives you to uh, do work so hard? Because, what, because what world, purpose? why do you do so much? Uh, because I am infinite, and I am nothing but love for everyone. You can and I, and you, and you, and everyone is one. So you're going to be 80, 83 in a few days. Oh, yeah. And uh, you know, many, many people retire at your age, but you still feel like you've got so much to give, so much to share. Uh, why is that? Because dream is endless. Dream is endless. So, as long as breathing, can talk, continue. After I pass away, then I'll leave my world whatever. My students, many thousand students, will succeed my dream, 
but not adequate. They also originate, they adding their own thinking, more enlarged, right? And I hope they continue to love everyone. So you will have you have a, a lot of gratitude when you pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if I be born in other planet, I will work same way. You work the same way. Same way. <laughs> continue to same dream yeah. for other planet. So, so do you feel blessed that you've been given so much? Not giving, just that is myself. I'm never thinking I'm giving. Just I'm working together with them. Yeah. I'm working, my working is playing, right? playing on this planet. Because as long as I'm on the, on the planet, then together I work. How do you see all the conflict with the religions? Religion is, again, don't criticize the issue. Okay. Some Catholic or Protestant or this, that, uh, many reasons. Good. To many good points. However, if they tell, if you become my religion, then you never experience that you will go King Damocles, okay, or Palatine. Suppose if they teach that, that is wrong. Paradise is entire universe as it is. Right. Kingdom of heaven is entire universe as it is. We are in paradise. We are in the kingdom of heaven. And the reason we are we don't feel we are not kingdom of heaven. We are not in the paradise because our eating is wrong, then various kinds of the emotional, the mental delusion comes. You know, you experience, if you eat meat, then nightmare comes, okay? Same thing, if we eat something wrong, alcohol, then we drunk, and the strange thinking comes, right? So by the eating wrong, many people think somewhere hell is there, inferno is there or being punished with so forth. That kind of the delusional world, they think. So then religion tells, if you become member of my religion, then you will be born in the next life in the kingdom of heaven or paradise. That's wrong. They should know what is the cause of vision of hell or infer. There is no hell, no infer. Just make the food is making it. People say it's like the fingers to the same God with different religions. They lead to the same same creator. You see, without religion, millions of years mankind live. Yeah. After all religion pass away, perish away, Millions of years, mankind will continue to live. And all everyone is eating, breathing, eliminating, thinking, right? And so, so, some people who want to have laser of fine, okay? Let's, let's do it. But some people who do not want to laser, that's also fine. But everyone, must eat right every day okay and eating and that making our body our mind okay therefore that is a base beyond any race okay? any nationality any race so anyone can enjoy microbiome exactly exactly and microbiotic is not like not strict, like that strict. microbiotic is enjoyable happy, yeah. elegant, and delicious. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people go on diets and they say, microbiotic is too strict, <laughs> and then they give up. Exactly. That is, like, again, teachers or what? Like, uh, you know, celebrities, like Gwyneth Paltrow, she goes very strict, and then she says she gives up. She, no, no. She drinks some alcohol or has some chips. <laughs> 
that is okay, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, many people think long idea. Macrobiotics is some religion. Yeah. Macrobiotics is not religion. We should do this, we should not do this, not like that. Okay? Macrobiotics is more free and more enjoyable, more delicious, more beautiful. That tells them through your internet. Okay? Okay. Open eyes. So what would be the last last message? What would uh, you you'd say to, to everybody? Continue to be right? humble. Continue to be grateful. Continue to be thankful to everyone. And continue to observe nature and respect people, animals, plants, right? And then be happy. One thousand years ago, Makovet was good. Now, Makovet is good. One million years ago, one million later, also Makovet is good. So, so now been, you're excited about what's happening, what, what's uh, developing. Because it's more in the newspaper, it's more on TV. Yeah, like Shah, Shah and many people, yeah. the now, right, the recognizing importance right, of macroeconomic way of thinking, macroeconomic way of eating, and this, that, right? Yeah. And that is great. Because the, otherwise, many, pe many people come sick. Because when you arrived in America, you came with hardly any money, no? Yeah, of course. And it was very difficult to start. Of course, of course, yeah. of course. But dream is there. So you, you, everybody should help hang on to their dream. But that dream to be big dream and never fade away. Never fade away. Keep holding on. Small dream. Keep I like to buy that car. Yeah. Then that fade away. Fade away. So they need to have a bigger dream. That's right. The dream which never ends. A never ending dream. That's right. Okay. Happiness is day-to-day -day pursuing the eternal dream, even after your death. Thank you. Thank you.